this tutorial, we'll take a look at the four different ways to answer questions on the ELA portion of the SBAC test. The first way we'll look at is clicking the correct sentence. The second answer type that we'll look at is multiple choice. Third, we'll be taking a look at questions that ask you to select multiple correct answers. And finally, we'll take a look at questions that ask you to write a response. So when you log into the ELA portion of the SBAC practice test, this is the first question set of questions that you'll see. Um, you will read this passage and then respond to the questions that are on this page. The first question asks you to click the sentence that best supports the inference that Coyote uses his imagination. You will do exactly that. You will read through this paragraph, decide which sentence answers the question, You'll click on that sentence. You can see it's highlighted at green as my answer selection. If I decide that that is not the sentence that I wanted, I can click on it again. It unhighlights it, and then I can go and click the correct answer. The second type of question that you'll see is a multiple choice question. In this multiple choice question, we're just looking for one correct answer, which sentence best describes the lesson that Coyote learns in the passage. You will select the letter of the answer that you believe is correct. You can see it fills it in. If you decide, oh no, that's not the correct answer, go ahead and just select the one that you want to change it to. The third type of response will be multiple correct answers. So you can see in this question, it asks you to pick two choices. You'll do that by clicking on the checkbox of the two choices that you'd like. If you decide that one of those choices is not correct, you can click on it again, it will uncheck it, and then you can go and click the correct answer. Finally, you will have questions that you need to write a response to. You'll click inside of the text box and then you'll begin writing your response here. Once you're done, you just move on to the next question and continue answering. So this tutorial has been about the four different ways to answer ELA questions on the SBAC. If you have any questions about answering the questions, let your homeroom teacher know. Otherwise, get in, practice answering in the different ways. We'll see you next time.